Hello YouTube, it's the Kim 1114. I just come to you with a quick video on my review of the type of hair that I uh, use in my braids. Show you the package again. It's Encore Wet and Wavy Hair. And it's I use the color 1B33. And this is the card that came in there. <sighs> okay. I absolutely hate this hair. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. Uh, first of all, it says it's human hair. It says fine as human hair, which was my first mistake. I wasn't paying attention when I brought it. If I had a new, it said that I wouldn't have got it. Um, when you're buying human hair, um, it's best to make sure it says 100% human hair. Uh, this just says fine as human hair, first of all. That was my first mistake. Um, I do braids. I braid my hair up every year around November, maybe. Yeah, around yeah, around November every year, and I use the same type of hair. I use wet and wavy hair, but I I'm not sure on what brand I, I use every time. Um, I know um, this is my first time buying this brand of hair, Encore, and I would never ever buy it again. Um, first of all, the hair is not soft at all. It's supposed to be human hair, but it's not soft. And it's really, really dry and frizzy. I don't care what products I use in it. It does not help this hair. Um, the other type of wet and wavy hair that I used last year when I braided my hair, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Beverly Johnson's uh, wet and wavy hair. That was the best hair I ever had in wet and wavy. It was really soft. It, 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 really wave, it was really wavy. This, um, for some reason, the texture of it is... It feels like synthetic hair, to be honest. I really, I mean, it's just, it's awful. Uh, the wave texture is not, it's pretty. Um, like I said, I, I've, I've used um, every product that I normally use in, in my braids in this hair, type of hair, and it, it's awful. Um, I'm probably, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be taking this down. I have, I've had these in now probably about, uh, three weeks I think yeah close to three weeks and I'm hundred percent sure that I will be taking this down soon very soon I'm probably gonna I'm gonna braid my hair over um because normally when I do my micro braids I let I I leave them in for about four months four to five months depends on how bad they get most of the time when my new growth come in um I go around the edges of my hair all around the edges and um that's it um, I'm getting ready to, I'm going to do an, uh, another tutorial in a second. I'm going to show you how I wash and clean my braids. But I know, um, I got, I can't deal with this. I, I got to take this down. It's, I just don't like the hair. Um, I paid, I think, $21.99 for this hair. Um, normally when I buy wet and wavy hair, I spend about $30 to $35 a bag. And I only use one bag. And another thing about this hair also, I noticed, that it's really, really full. I normally use one bag of hair and it doesn't, it just don't, it don't look like this. It's, it's, it's a lot less hair in my head when I do it. And like I said, I mean, I tried to even curl this hair and it would not curl. So, um, I'm thinking maybe if I dip it in hot water and roll it, it'll probably do it before. I'm, I'm afraid to do it because my hair, if your hair is really short and you do it, and your braids are long, you shouldn't have a problem, but I don't want to dip these braids in hot water with my hair being a, the length that it is in the back and in the front. I'm, I don't want to put my hair, actual hair, real hair in hot water. Um, I did that a long time ago and it broke my hair off. I wasn't, I didn't know it out there. That, that, I didn't know what I was doing at that time, I put it that way, so if you decide, if you have braids and you decide to dip them in hot water and you have medium or length hair to long hair, I would be very careful not to dip my own hair in the water at the same time. Um, I've flat earned this hair and then I did it like a braid out, which is kind of old now, but it looks actually looked better 
than the actual hair look. So, um, I'm getting ready to wash my hair. I'll show you how I wash. I'm going to do a tutorial in a second how I wash my hair. And I think what I'm going to do is, um, just flat iron all of it out. And if I decide I want the wave pattern back, I just do it like a braid out. Um, I'm going to try to keep these braids in probably for... I'm going to try to keep them in another two to three weeks maybe. And I'm I'm going to go buy the, the original hair that I normally use. The Wet and Wavy um, Beverly Johnson's hair. Which is the best one um, that I've, I've used so far. So, um... Yeah, um, I, I hate to, to spend all my time braiding my hair and now I gotta take it down because I hate the hair, but I, I hate the hair, so I can't roll a set it down. There's so many styles that I normally do with wet and wavy hair that I can't do with this hair because it won't curl, so I'm gonna take it down. What I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take it all down at one time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the wet and wavy hair that I want and um, I'm gonna take it down one by one and just since the, my hair is already parted and sectioned off, um, I'll just take it down one by one and uh, take one braid down, put one braid, put it back in, you know, until I complete my whole head, which would be a lot easier than just trying to take all of my hair down at one time and then going through the process of sectioning it off and parting and all that again. So um, I'll be doing it over the course of time. So you probably won't even notice that I'm, I'm changing the hair out, but um, I'll still be doing styles and all that. So, uh, but like I said, I just want to read give you my review on this wet and wavy encore hair. Don't buy it. <laughs> Do not buy encore hair or uh, wet and wavy hair. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to do a tutorial in a second on how I wash and clean my braids and uh, which is coming up next. So I'll talk to you later, YouTube. Until then, take care.